so kind, just whilst we're waiting for people to join, would you please put uh, after your first name which um, which country you're in? So you might put Mark and then Norway, and you might put Vivian and then Hungary. And Aira's already done it because she's she's fast off the mark. It's very good, pen in hand. Uh, Claudia, Colombia. Deborah, England. Sonia. Croatia. Hello, Sonia. Anna, Botswana. Alison De Silva. Hello. That's a great name, De Silva. Uh, it's Sri Lankan. Awesome. Technically Portuguese, but Sri Lankan now. Um, Portuguese. Yes, Portuguese. Are you getting in? Mm -hmm. I'm in. Hi, Swart. I don't see you. Hey. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm fine, thank you. Very good to see you. Do you know what? I haven't done it myself. Uh... <coughs> Hi, Beata. Hello, hello. Have you been in uh, Poland the whole time? Hi, no, I just uh, I just landed yesterday. Ah. Just moved from Indonesia to Poland for a month. Mm. Nice for the for the cold winter months. Uh, no, just one month. Then <laughs> going back. It's too cold. It's too cold. <laughs> Poland is freezing in the winter. Yes, it is. It is. Uh, Nicola, are you uh, are you able to put? Is it China? Mm, yes. If you can put that in your <coughs> name, Sujata. Oh, you work it out. I don't know. I, I can't. How to? Get it, get Brunei on my screen, my name. How to get Brunei on your screen? Maybe Zoom doesn't allow you. Um, but let me see how you do it. You click on participants, and then you click on your name, and it'll give you an option to rename. That's right. It's, it's easier if you click on your photograph, and then you it will ask you in, with the three little dots, click on the dots and then it will let you rename, look for rename, and that's how you right. change it. Uh, thank you. Um, I've only got chat, meeting settings, minimize meeting, background and filters, and I don't, don't know which of these. If you click, it put the cursor on your photograph right now, and you should have the option to mute. And next to the mute are three dots, click on the three dots. Yeah, but it comes up with a whole menu of things. <laughs> yes, you should have mute audio, stop video, and look all the way at the bottom and it says rename. Thank you for that. That was easy for me to follow. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to try it. Can't find the rename. Right, we, I think we might have to just remember that Sujata is from Brunei. <laughs> <laughs> and um, having said that, spoken like a, a really calm teacher. That was great, Rhonda. Oh, okay. <laughs> calmed me down. That was it's very because good. technology can really get you worked up. So you have to tone it down a little bit. <laughs> oh, Rhonda, I'm just going to, uh, yeah. Uh, Sajila, uh, hi. Hello. Where in uh, where which country are you in? Pakistan. Uh, but, uh, uh, what, uh, I was thinking of a different question, and then the question of which country, which city are you in? That was the question I was going to ask. Uh, Lahore. Lahore, Lahore, Pakistan. Yeah. Anyway, lovely to see you, Sadia. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, and where is um, where? Hi, Clinis. Hello, Daniel. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, right. 
Where is James? James? This is a little like oh, fine. Oh, oh, I'm here, uh, Daniel. <laughs> you can do it. Thank you. Oh, you did it, Sujata. Well done. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> Denise is here. Hi, Denise. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hi, sorry. That's all right. Thank you so Hello. much for joining. I haven't, I haven't been about, I had COVID and uh, I finished my master's and it's, yeah, school's a wee bit short and staffed, so we've been a bit busy here. Well, it's lovely to see you and thank you so much for joining and, um, and I don't know if you want to put Scotland or even a specific city in your name. Hi Doyle from Vietnam. Hey Daniel, how are you? Very good and you, thank you for joining. Good, thank you for the invitation. I'm really excited for you. Thank you. Helen from Holland, hello. Hi, sorry, oh. only just saw the email, didn't get a previous invitation. Oh, well, you're lucky to be on the very select list that only very <laughs> important people were invited. Ah, okay. <laughs> James, I told you not to invite Helen. What happened? <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you. Yep. Um, can you put Holland in your or Netherlands, I don't know what the protocol is, but in your... Um, in your Holland name. is a province and the Netherlands is the country. The <laughs> Netherlands is wow. the empire. Okay, uh, James, shall I hand over to you? Are you you're hosting today and I'm just saying hello to people. Ah, uh, sure. Well, a very good afternoon, a good day, wherever you are. And welcome to our soft launch of the IFIP hub. Um, which you're going to find out all about today. Um, we're very grateful to have our uh, guests today. Thank you for joining wherever you've come from, as well to our presenters. So Daniel in a moment, followed by Lena, followed by Louise, and then I'll say a few words as well. But over to you, Daniel. Well, I don't want to speak for too long, um, partly because I've already given two uh, talks this morning. Uh, but I wanted to say... Um, it's a very personal note of um, appreciation for um, this wonderful group of people who've come together, despite the fact that we're distanced by um, thousands of miles. Um, I mean, if we actually physically went to visit all each other, we would be traveling hundreds of thousands of miles, I imagine. Uh, I, that's just a guess. I have no idea if that's true. Uh, but um, it would be a, a lot. And um, But it's amazing through this technology, but more, more than that, uh, in a way, we're kind of reaping the benefits of, being, of the comf of the of all of the discomforts of um, uh, of lockdown and um, living life on Zoom. Uh, we're able to sort of turn some of that into the positive, and um, because we feel comfortable about being online, uh, that we can connect with each other. I don't think we would have been able to do this four years ago and feel so comfortable or so natural about it. Mm -hmm. So it's really quite an amazing moment in, you know, that um, for me personally. Um, and, and that um, I set out with a very simple goal, which is I wanted to try and learn the best practices from all over the world. And also just to be in touch, create a space for inclusion, inclusionistas to be in touch with each other. And um, I'm both surprised and amazed that it's got to this point. And there are a couple of people who I just want to highlight uh, a special thank you. This is by no means an Oscar speech. Uh, it really um, I think that was uh, a yeah. Oh, there you go. Louise, I, think. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Um, so, firstly, I think partly, um, uh, Lena, if uh, if you hadn't have uh, jumped on board uh, to make the uh, Festival of Education such a success, forget even success, even possible, um, then uh, this we wouldn't be at this point now. So, I thank you so much for that, for all of that incredible work. Um, and Louise Dawson, uh, I remember distinctly saying to you, uh, I, uh, I can't do this without holding your hand. Can you hold my hand, please, through this? Oh, she's gone. Uh, but um, so I thank you for um, holding my hand and continue, continuing to metaphorically uh, hold my hand. Thank you very much. Um, James, uh, thank you for leading this and helping develop this and bringing this to a point of technical possibility. 
and we're going to show um, what is possible today. And a special hello to Tazita in Ethiopia. I really appreciate you being here. I know you've got a lot of troubles in Ethiopia at the moment. And uh, thank you. I hope you're okay. Um, so what, I, I mean, not you personally have got a lot of personal troubles, but Ethiopia is in a place of serious ructions and troubles and everything. And so I appreciate you being here. Um, and uh, Louise, whilst you were gone, I was praising you. I was saying thank you for being holding my hand and things. Thank you. I've got technical issues here because I'm not at home in my office. So I'm doing different devices. It's causing me a bit of stress, but I'm here now. I've got the sound, I've got the, I've got the video working. I did hear you. Thank you very much. It's an absolute pleasure to be with you. You know that. Um, and now uh, just two other uh, thank yous apart from my team. Uh, Deborah, my wife happens to be joining us here today. Um, she's called Deborah UK today. Hi. That's my wife. I need to thank her for everything. Let's not be too specific. Once you mention one thing, and why didn't you mention the other thing? Let's just call it, let's just keep it nice and simple and straightforward. Thank you. Um, and uh, Sharon, who's my second wife, really, well, sorry, she's my PA, um, more like my mum, uh, Sharon, uh, and um, various other members of the team who are here, like Glynis and Rue. Enough thank yous, it's getting boring. So, um, uh, so we're at this point where we're about to form into a proper organisation, grow up to the next stage of becoming, you know, it's becoming a thing. And um, I also wanted to um, encourage you just to help us keep going. Um, we're trying to make this free at the point of access for people. Um, we're trying to make this a place where people can share best practices from all over the world, um, a place which will in give you lots of opportunities to enhance your own professional development as well. So opportunities to publish and to lecture and to lead and to take on roles and things like that. Um, we are hoping to launch two very big global initiatives um, and I hope that you can be involved in those and through advocacy. And um, I'm hoping to make more of a formal relationship with UNESCO and the World Bank and various other major organisations and those are all in discussion at the moment. Um, I think that's my introduction. Yeah, there's lots of exciting things happening. I, I personally think, you know, because we're about to launch this website, I personally think, I keep saying this to uh, James and Selena, but I personally think that um, uh, we'll have an opportunity to take this to the next level when the phone app is ready, because that's, I think, where most people will be able to sort of open up a phone app. It's a little, be a little bit like LinkedIn. Um, I'm not saying you should leave LinkedIn, um, but it, it will afford opportunities a little bit like that to be able to contact each other and things like that and offer sort of professional support. Um, I'm going to end on one note and just say thank you very much to Alana Glazenberg for so much uh, moral and practical support. Uh, Alana isn't uh, with us today, but um, uh, we wouldn't be here without her support probably. So I want to say thank you to her. Right, uh, on to some very practical things uh, after my uh, my thank you list. Is that all right, James? Should I say other things? Should I have no, no, I should I've done more of a that's other wonderful. thing? And you've, you've alluded to uh, what's happening, uh, what's coming in 2022, uh, and we'll have an opportunity to talk about the Global Inclusive Teaching Initiative maybe a bit later, if you don't want to touch on that now. Yeah, let's do that a bit later. All right, well, enough of me, I think. Let's get to the, let's get to the good stuff. And uh, we're uh, asking now for Louise. Would you like to say a few words, Louise, as co-founder? Thank you. I think that Daniel has said it all. Um, this was a dream in COVID, you're quite right, when we were all locked down. And when we started to do it and we had like the first person join us, the second, it has been phenomenal. And the momentum and the ball that has just rolled and rolled and gathered moss. Um, Daniel's right that we couldn't have done it alone. Elena, James, Elena, everyone, Anira. I won't mention too many names because I could go on for after, all afternoon, but it has been phenomenal. I know that there's been an awful lot of work going on behind the scenes with the website and the creation and recruitment, etc. And um, I'm really looking forward to learning about that. I know a little bit about it, but I'm learning the same as everybody else today and uh, looking forward to taking it to the next step and getting some enrolments and having some exchange of ideas, which is the whole purpose of this. So very excited. Thank you very much. Um, happy for you to continue, James. Thank you very much indeed.
Uh, right, we're going to hand over to Lena. We're going to say a few words, Lena. Just a quick um, hello to Simona D'Alessio in Italy. Hi, Simona. And um, Nenet in the Philippines as well. Nice to see Hi, you. Hi, Dan. Hi, guys. Hi, <laughs> don't, don't forget Frank either. Frank's here. Frank. Where's Frank? I'm Hi, here. Frank. Also in the Hello, Philippines. Hello, everyone. Yes. You know, I blame you for me getting up too early this morning. It's your fault. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Anyway, nice Daniel to see you. Daniel is present in one of our events. He presented a, a talk about inclusive education in the training of teachers here in the Philippines. I got him as one of the of the speakers. So thank you, Daniel. Thank you for that. Thank you. And uh, thank goodness I can do it in my sleep. Right. Uh, moving on. So I, I think that's segue over, over to me now. So um, hello, everyone. Um, thank you for being here. It's lovely to see um, so many friendly IF, IFIP faces. Some of you I haven't seen for a long time, so thanks for joining us today. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about um, showing you the, the new um, sort of online home for the IFIP. And, and I know we've been um, banging on about it for a, a few months now. And but like all these things, they, they take a little bit longer than planned, you know, stuff comes up. And, um, but but we're, we're here now, we're, we're actually at this point of, um, you know, launching it, um, you know, to you, our, our special friends, especially invited to this. and. Um, I hope you're going to be as excited about it um, as we are with the possibilities um, that it's going to, to give to our community. Um, and, and that there's so much power in our community by all of us coming together um, and now having some really great tools to work with. Um, I, I, I can just see that it's going to take us to the next level um, and what we can do to, to bring about change, you know, in the future of education for, for children. So um, yeah, it, it's a, a, an exciting place to be. Um, I um, want to kind of caveat all of this for just saying this is our soft launch. So um, you are our beta testers, <laughs> um, so to, to put it. Um, so um, um, we're planning um, a big formal launch um, towards the end of January, but we um, are really encouraging all of you to, to register. It does require a registration process as it is a, a member's um, website. So there's the public facing page and then you register and um, you, you can then just log in any time to, to the um, brilliant members area behind. But so, so please do go through that registration process, create your profiles and, and have a play with what's there. We've got some results resources there we've got some um, events that we'll be putting up but there's some already there um, for things that we're going to be doing next year um, and connect with each other post in the live feeds um, and then tell us what you think if there's things that really annoy you tell us if you've got ideas of how things could be better if you don't like a certain picture or a color or something doesn't work um, we want we want to hear about it we want to hear about all of that um, and if you totally love it tell us tell tell us as well um, and then we can take you know all of that on board and, and make some tweaks um, as, as we go along ready for the launch um, in January. Um, so um, I think without more ado I'm going to pass you over to um, James um, as you know is our, our new head of community um, so um, he's he's our go-to man now with um, anything to to do with this platform but obviously you can talk to me or Daniel or, or any of the team um, as well but James let's let's go for it let's take them on board. Lena thank you so much uh, uh, can I just say I'm absolutely delighted to be working as part of the uh, IFIT team uh, with Dan, Lane and Louise, uh, as well as the extended team, and now with the, our regional forum representatives who will be running each of the forums. Um, just so you know, I was previously a head teacher, so very practitioner focused, and I was also working with the Global School Alliance, so I'm passionate about international and working and linking and collaborating with schools all around the world. But I have to say that the IFIP hub is quite unlike any other platform that I've worked on 
And I feel that there's a real desire to, to reach out and connect with members. And for the first time in my career, I think um, like a, a genuine community of practice where um, um, you know, practitioners can collaborate together. So it's a really exciting and I'm very pleased to be part of it. I'm gonna share the screen and then show you uh, the platform. So here's our public facing page. And um, so uh, been looking at this for many hours with Lena. Uh, uh, as you can see, we've got here our, our strap line quality and inclusive learning for all children around the world. And um, our values as well, um, support, empathy, belonging are amongst those. And Daniel's quote there, if you have anything to do with inclusion, then I invite you to join the IFIP hub now and be part of the change. And below that, there's a link to this new initiative, the Global Inclusive Teaching Initiative, or GITI, as it's otherwise known. I'll talk about that a bit more in a moment. And then at the bottom, the benefits of joining the IFIP. We had a massive long list. These are just some of them, uh, but connecting and networking with like-minded professionals around the world amongst many others. But um, the group here today, obviously, fantastic you can join us and we want you to be like our founding members, but at the main launch in January, we will be inviting the great and the good and as many people as possible to join us. So if I go um, to uh, the top here, you see home global initiative link because that's our main initiative at the moment. So if I go there first, um, just a few bits about the global initiative uh, here. Every teacher, every child, it's a new groundbreaking global program. And uh, it's all about this international standard for differentiation <clears throat> to help all teachers to effectively meet the needs of all children in the classroom uh, in a truly inclusive way. And there's details there about how the, the initiative is flexible, practical, online. It's based around five learning modules. You can see the course writers there. Louise Dawson, Abigail Gray, Daniel, Professor Car uh, Carol Tomlinson, as well as Helena Wahlberg. And there's some uh, questions there. Why should our school sign up to the initiative? And how can the course be done? And so on and so forth. So that's on the GITI uh, Global Inclusive Teaching Initiative. I'm going to log on now so I can show you more inside uh, the hub. OK, so it takes me straight away to the live feed and we want this to have a, a social media feel to it, to be interactive, a place where you can literally just drop in, uh, you know, your thoughts, where you are, what's happening in your inclusion world. Lane has just posted this morning. Hello, lovely IFIP friends. Welcome to your IFIP hub and thank you for being our founding members. So similarly, you please feel free. Um, at the end, we're going to encourage you to actually register on the spot, but you can just come here as you would to Facebook or LinkedIn, put in your thoughts. If you're traveling to anywhere exotic, you can check in or you can tell us about your trip if you're lucky enough to travel in this COVID world. Or if you're arranging an event, you can um, publicize it to IFIP colleagues. Uh, and that's another feature of the platform. So we can have many things going on around the world. And on the right here, you see up and coming events as well. Now, along the, oh, I can see here, um, well, I'll come back to that in a moment, in next to this link, people. So if I go onto the people, now it's felt a bit lonely because it's been uh, Lane and I, <laughs> and you see we're on the map here. Uh, I'm down here in Dover by the channel, Lane here over to the west, uh, and there'll be many more people coming in here, but you will be able to click on on them. I can go now to Lena's profile, for example, uh, this beautiful picture. What's that a picture of, Lena? That's um, the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol. I thought so. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, beautiful. Beautiful picture. We can see here um, citizenship, so um, countries where 
you are, you, you know, you were born, or in this case where um, Lena has worked, as well as where she's living at the moment. And a great feature of this is that if you put in your where you live, then you will appear on this um, on the people page, and we can see gradually as the as the membership grows where people are around the world, and you can just go to the country dynamically and click on their name, their picture, and zoom in and find out more about them. And that's what exactly what you, we want you to do. So now, if I go along uh, to events, uh, the great thing about this new platform is that we can incorporate Zoom uh, meetings, and you will be. And I know that the regional uh, forum uh, representatives will be able to set up regional meetings, and they'll be advertised here. So, for example, if I take you to the formal launch, um, which is happening next month. Um, there's more information here about the launch. If you've registered, then you can say straight away, um, are you attending? No, yes, or maybe. There'll also be a link here that uh, you can register um, for, the, for the event as well. Um, but we want the events um, and we hope that there's gonna be monthly events as well, uh, both um, internationally, nationally and regionally. Uh, to, to make uh, the hub a really uh, exciting place uh, and a practical place as well for practitioners. Um, right, I'm going to go along now to the resource library. Now, this is really exciting because um, Daniel and the rest of uh, the colleagues at um, Inclusion Expert have actually offered up um, hundreds of resources that will be available available to members now we're, we've only just started building this but already there must be you know between 100 and 200 uh, resources so for example here now you can search there's four different ways you will be able to search for a tag so you see here there are tags here asd asperger's for example um, that tag list is growing all the time you can put in a hot word just something that you're searching for to see if you can find a resource to match your need uh, or if you click in the file type, you could just search for documents or videos or external files. Um, in the folders already, for example, we, we have an IFIP folder. I can click on that. We have a folder for Daniel, uh, where we already have some of his uh, many television appearances uh, and uh, presentations. Uh, you'll see there's a little crumb trail here that I can click back out of, I can go back up to IFIP or back to the resource library. And similarly, there's a folder for events. Um, we have a folder for the education festival that took place in the summer. And um, very <coughs> soon you'll find links to all of the presentations here, but you'll be able to find, uh, you know, the format, the, the, the itinerary, what happened, etc. cetera. Um, so again, I can use this crumb trail to come back out. And if I look in one of these folders, this one is making interventions work. Uh, you'll see that there are many resources here um, that you can click on. So access plan, do review, uh, pupil profile template, lots of useful resources that you can explore and download are available for you. Let's try another one. So if I go to implementing uh, leadership and management, Again, many uh, useful resources uh, in here as well. And these are just the opening folders. There'll be new folders um, that tie into your phase, you know, kindergarten, uh, primary, secondary, um, and so on and so forth. So there'll be different ways of finding information that's relevant to your context in the resource library. So that's gonna be a fantastic uh, free resource to all of the membership. And then the, the, the main event, the forums. Um, so here um, are the forums. You see all of my forums. And when, as and when you join the forums, we want to encourage all members to join their regional forum first and foremost, and to make that a uh, you know, vibrant place uh, and to spread out your networks in your regions as well and tell your, your colleagues in partner schools or part of your trust, for example, mm -hmm. recommend the IFIP um, platform hub to them. Uh, so you see I belong to a variety of platforms here. Uh, these are my regional um, uh, forums. So I've got Asia and Australasia, uh, Central and South America, European Forum. Um, let me go back here. 
And there are also uh, activity forums. So there's the school principals forum, for example, the international forum. Some of these you've already participated in, but as Lena said, this will be the new home for them. And the pastoral forum there as well. And then you see um, the regional forums listed below. So your first port of call, once you've registered, will be to, to visit these forums and to join your regional forum. That would be brilliant if you can. Now, if I go along uh, one more, we find uh, the news page. So um, there will be regular news features here and it will cover all education issues, um, including inclusion, obviously. Um, there's a lovely picture here we posted this morning of uh, all of the speakers from the summer conference. And it's just reiterating, uh, you know, that we want you to tell your schools, colleagues and associates about the IFIP and ask them to join. Uh, so that's one of the latest news stories. And, you know, we want you to publish your news. You can do so back here um, in the feed. Um, if you come uh, to, to the, oh, that's the welcome page there. Uh, or you can also um, uh, publish news in the, the news. So just send us a story. If you think you have something that you want to celebrate, send it to us and we'll publish it in the, in the news. There was two other pages there. I was gonna uh, direct you to the welcome page. Uh, where I'm just again, uh, it's a warm welcome to everyone. We want this to be a friendly community above everything else, uh, a place we, where we support each other. There are these four steps to getting started. Step one, create your membership profile and tell us about your context. Tell us about the type of your school you're in, where you're from. Then step two, join the regional forums, like I've just shown you join your regional forum. Uh, step three, check out the events. Please sign up for the uh, January main launch event. That's gonna be a really big event and well worth attending. And there will be many people invited to, to that event. And then the fourth uh, uh, step to connect with other inclusion practitioners. It's a social media platform. We want you to be social. We want you to you know, have fun meeting people, making connections and, and useful links uh, around the world. And then the final page that I was gonna just mention is the uh, About Us page. Who are we? All about the IFIP and the fact we're a voluntary members organization consisting of hundreds of inclusion practitioners from across the world. And here we've um, foregrounded our, our vision, uh, a world where quality and inclusive learning is provided for all children and our mission, a global community of practitioners who learn, share, and connect about inclusive education, as well as our values. And there you see all the values there, support, care, compassion, empathy, listening, and humanity, as well as welcoming relationships and belonging. And I do think that those values for me make this platform stand out to other platforms that I've belong to personally and I hope uh, you find the same. You'll also see there are our objectives and our outcomes. Okay so that is um, a quick whistle stop tour of, uh, of the platform. Um, obviously if there's any questions I'm very happy to, to answer. What I would like you to do though if at all possible I'm just going to log out here. Uh, if you are online uh, you can actually do this on your phone because this, the, the website will scale to fit your smartphone. But as Daniel said, our um, new app will be out in the new year and that will make it even easier. But um, here, if you click on join us today and please do do this now if you want to, if you're able to just put your zoom on one side uh, and all you need to start the registration is to put your first name and then your last name. Uh, put in your email. It's got one of these little uh, capture uh, codes here to, pr to prove that you're actually human. Uh, so you just type your code in as well and then join us today. Uh, it's a two-step process. So you'll receive an email that will invite you to another page where you can put in more of your information. And we would encourage you to put in 
as much information as you can because that will make your profile stand out and we want to share our expertise and, and our geographical locations with people so that we can we can uh, help and work together so please do that uh, we might we should have Lena maybe a little competition to see who's who's registered first today but um, we're hoping that everyone who does register today will, will have a little um, emblem on their profile that says that they are founder members because all of you were uh, took part in the um, summer festival and that's why only you have been invited today to this special soft launch. So James, uh, for people to join, they need to put in www.ifip.group. Thank you and, so much. Um, <laughs> and I do believe Anaira has already won. Um, <laughs> I'm waiting right. for my confirmation email. I've done it and now I can't do anything. Right. So, so the it. prize will go to anyone who comes second. I think that's, that's, the, that's how it works. I'm waiting to be accepted. <laughs> the rest of my day is going to be very busy. My, my keyboard <laughs> yeah. is smoking, just trying to accept everyone. But And um, open worms everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but that's it. So as, again, please, um, once you've registered on the platform, you can direct message me. But my, my email is james at ifip.group. And you're very welcome to email me as well. But um, we've got a little bit of time left, Daniel. So we could have an open a round table if you like just to invite comments from people here if that if that suits can i can i just mention something about the or should i mention something about the uh one of the initiatives which we're running please do is that um yeah do you want to share the screen daniel or do you do oh you... no no yeah. no okay. i just mention it um so we're going to trial with uh, about 40 schools um, in January um, for this uh, global initiative that um, we've written. And, um, and uh, a key player, some of you will know, uh, is Professor Carol Tomlinson, who's very much sort of like, well, I think of her as like the grandmother of inclusion. She invented the word differentiation, for example. Um, and uh, so she's uh, involved in the project and, um, so many of you will know Helena Warburg from Sweden. Louise is involved. Abigail Gray is involved, and myself, and um, and so forth. So, well, there's this. The idea is that you know every teacher should be trained to be able to teach, you know, the children in their classroom. That that's the idea, which um, is an issue which many of us have raised, and um, the program will be made available for. Um, schools that can afford it there will be um schools that uh, will will um, will ask them to pay for it um but for those who can't afford um we will uh, make it available for free and um so we hope to get you know hundreds or thousands of schools in um, africa and asia <coughs> and so on we hope to get it translated into russian into arabic spanish and into french uh, and therefore be able to get it as far broad as possible. Um, we hope to also get an award for the school connected to it. Um, and we're just trying to work out those details at the moment. But all of that is forthcoming. Um, I'll just say one other thing, James, if I may. Um, there's a lot of work that's gone into this and um, we're only, we're, we're limited by our think power, but actually all of the people from all over the world here uh, together we can enhance this and make it even better and even better. Um, so with that in mind, um, uh, please do um, share your ideas uh, with us and help, help us make it better. Um, and also seize the opportunity to um, take on a role and put that on your CV. <laughs> uh, not, some of you won't need that, but some of you would want that. So please, you know, accordingly, um i've just been uh jabbering on here and we've got people in the chat room should we invite uh, any any comments does anyone would anyone like to, to 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 add or to to say what they think everyone's been very hey hi everybody 
Lovely to see all of you again. Can you hear me? Am I yeah, coming through? Clearly. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, just um, just one one question is is there any space on the on the site where we can put in like our our main interests so that you know we can um, you know get together with people that are focused on one particular aspect of inclusion as opposed to others or is it just because I've seen Lena's and it says consultant and or should is there another space for it or would we need to say something there um so that we can get together with people that are doing the exact same thing that we yeah. are i think it's a really good um point by all means add use your profile to to, to okay to speak of, of all of your interests because i think one of the main routes people will come in is that it, dynamic interactive map where they're just finding a country and then clicking on people's faces so that is a good way for them to have a snapshot like they do in on LinkedIn. But I think that um, further down the line, you know, currently we have forums for these main regions and for some mm -hmm. activities, but it, it might be that uh, you want to set up a collaborative, a collaborative project with uh, a, a other schools. Particular and, and we could set up a forum for that um, to suit. Okay. Cool. Can I can I just add um, also um, in the people section, you can um, search on on those um keywords that you can select so so you could put in okay. um teacher <laughs> for example and it will bring up everyone um who has put teacher into their profile and then you can choose to um send a group message to all of them in one go or you could just personally direct message um anyone you know within that group or you could filter it by a country so you might want to just know all the teachers in France, for example, web. so you can really play around with the filtering and, and search for um, different type of people. So that's why it's really important to um, to fill in your profile properly. It, it yeah. only takes a few minutes, but it will really enable you to connect with with so many different people. And Lena, could I, could I just add to that? I think um... I mean, I know in the past as a head teacher, we've been looking for other schools. I was a head teacher of a primary school. So we were looking for other primary schools. And it might be that you're looking for a similar type of school. So if I just share the screen again very quickly and show you on the um, profile page, if I can find it, there it is. There's my profile page. Uh, and one way, if you go to the type of school or organization and, uh, and click in there, oh, just come back to my page again. Yeah, if you go to the, um, I, sorry, if you edit that box and then go to the uh, type of school or organization, you see what happens is it comes up with, you can choose, for example, primary, uh, early years, middle school, secondary school. It goes through a gamut of different types of organization, you know, residential children's homes, IB schools, um, and so on and so forth, or, or also colleges, universities. We have members that will be from educational authorities, for example, in different countries. Um, so click on the type of um, school that you are. And then you can also click on the sector. So you can say, say are you state, are you an independent school, are you international, private, online. So it's a very useful way of, that will help you further down the line to connect yeah. with um, other similar institutions. So I'll just stop my share. If, if I may, this, uh, Daniel, this looks, and James, this looks excellent. So thank you for that. Well done. Uh, we had no idea what it would look like uh, three, four months ago. Uh, and Lena, so ex excellent work. And Sharon, uh, it's great to see this happening. I suppose from our point of view, do you want us to uh, mess around with it over the next few months we get acceptance and give James feedback via email uh, on any things or any tweaks we would recommend? Not that you have to accept them, but just want advice from us super totally because as daniel said it, we are more than the sum of our parts you know that this this is, is what make the, the hub you know even more distinctive and 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 richer because everyone is pitching in so please share your ideas and suggestions i i would just add as well this is um new technology so um you know <laughs> there may be things that that we don't know yet that might 
not work so well or, or whatever so so you know give it a really good play around with you know try and break it try and do whatever we really yeah. want to test it out and and make sure that its capabilities are, are sort of right up there because in any technical issues we can post that through um to the developers and they sort of you know will will look into that um but and 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 not just those sort of issues, but um, whether you, as I said, whether you like the colours, the, maybe there's a photograph that just doesn't, you know, work for you. Absolutely anything, ideas, um, you name it. And you can easily um, let us know about it. You could post in, in that live feed or you can just direct message us on the platform um, if, if, you know, you're on there instead of coming out and sending us a separate email. Um, but that's that's fine as well. So let me mention uh, three other things at this point. Number one is um, we're exploring the possibility of doing something beyond um, uh, just a, a free membership because membership is free for everybody uh, that we need this to financially sustain itself. So we were thinking of doing um, a different level of membership, something like a fellow um to be a fellow of the ifip or a senior fellow of the ifip and the idea is that you would uh, go through an application process and you know pay for that process and you would get letters after your name and the idea is that i mean some people think that's fantastic to get letters after your name but some people think that's a waste of time i mean everyone has their own views on this so you know it's not for everyone but it will be for certain people um and we also uh, think there will be a role for uh, businesses and advertising, but it needs to be done in a very careful way. I think it will be content supported rather than sort of adverts as it were. So it could be that there's an, uh, an organization that has a certain expertise um, that will share that expertise and they'll add to our knowledge base. Um, but that's all uh, a frontier. Let me just mention some slightly more clearly if you personally want to get involved in something and think look I would like to do this and I'd like to put it on my uh, seat that I was a international director of this particular forum or whatever it is then please just approach us and and the, the answer is probably yes thank you very much that we would love that um, you know or if you would like to you know publish your view on something and uh, or be an editor or something like that then, then this is an opportunity for you to do um, lots of things so um, uh, and just before Vivian goes, I want to say thank you to Vivian for your um, help in research. And so I think she might have gone already. Uh, well, she's gone. Um, but uh, she's helped quite a lot with uh, things like research and background stuff. Um, that was the end of my little points there. Back to you, James. And I was just going to add to that, that um, I think I'm not wrong in saying, Daniel, that you want everyone to have fun you know you want people to enjoy using it so don't be precious about it just have a go you can't as Lena said you can't break anything uh, and treat the um you know the feed in particular as with your your Facebook feed and if anyone's followed Daniel on uh, LinkedIn you know you put up your infographics put up your thought for the day uh share what problems you're having because again everyone is there to to help so uh, make it a place where it's fun to be Lena, is there anything else you wanted to add? Um, I just did want, have one other thought um, to, to let you know. Um, it's sort of a future thought, but not that far um, away, is that we um, can also have the hub in, in different languages. So we um, are very shortly looking at rolling it out um, you know, in Spanish, probably um, you know, Russian and Arabic. Um, so, um, so when you have your regional forums, you know, you, like we can have just a completely Spanish speaking regional forum where you can put up all your resources in Spanish, all your chats will be in Spanish and, and the site, all, all the key text and everything on the site will also be in, in Spanish, for example. So, so we're trying to make it as global and inclusive. Um, as as we possibly can so so that that's something to look forward to for for next year as well um uh hello to abigail hawkins by the way nice to see you um again how are you 
Hi, Abigail. My camera's not working. <laughs> That's not all working. right. Uh, nice to see you, Abigail. Thank you for joining. And uh, Genevieve, hi. I don't know if you can hear me. And Nabila, hi. Hello. And Maggie, hi. Hello there, hi. Hi Maggie, how are you? I'm not too bad, thank you. Thanks so much for joining. Um, I wanted to say hello to Genevieve and to Nabila, but uh, they might not be able to uh, communicate, that's fine. Um, right, well, uh, I think, are we formally... Quick question, we... uh, Daniel. Yeah. Um, on, on chat, I noticed that a number of us are asking about the uh, validation um, process since we, we, we've joined. Is that, will that sort of happen automatically or <clears throat> what, what's the process? Can't so, hear you. James, unmute. I'm so sorry. Um, you've registered hopefully already, but you'll get an email as soon as this uh, um, Zoom finishes, I'll be going through oh, okay. uh, ensuring that you get your follow-up email and then it's up to you to put the rest of your details in. Okay. Okay. We don't just let anyone join, Peter. You've got to be vetted. And by the way, James is open to bribes. I've got a list of that list, yeah. How are you going to, how are you going to vet? Money. Money, money oh, talks. Okay. That's okay. what this is about. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and um, James, is there anything else that we need to say at this stage? No, I, I, th I think we've uh, we've covered all bases, but I'm very grateful to everyone that's joined today. Uh, it's brilliant to uh, respond to this soft launch, um, but the January event will be definitely one to put in your diaries, and we are going to throw a very wide net and to evangelise, hopefully, to encourage, you know, all kinds of teachers, you know, to join the hub and to contribute to it. But thank now, you very um, much. I have a I have a dream of doing an in person event at some point in the next year um and i know you you could laugh with your covid coughs in my face uh that that was never going to happen but let me dream for a moment um the place where i'd like to do it is at unesco um head office in paris uh and so watch this space um we are in uh, talks with them to sort of because we what we're doing is very much in support of unesco so we're in talks with them to sort of partner with them but just watch this space. We haven't been able to confirm anything yet, um, but it would be great to see um, a few of you there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that we don't have time today to hear from everybody and to split into groups. And it, for those of you who've been to these meetings before, uh, we spend most of the time talking with each other rather than just listening to me or any one person go on. Um, but uh, today was just about this next step. We'll see you online. Keep checking in with the website. Eventually, it'll become a phone app. Uh, and that point of evolution it will just change totally, I think. Um, and hopefully, our aim is to get uh, thousands of people uh, to join in the next couple of years. So please do support us along the way. Yeah, Paris.